Today we're going to be having a look at a British watch company called Marlow and this is their Coniston Speed Limited Edition watch. This is a limited edition to 500 pieces, it comes in this very nice textured presentation box and it has one of the nicest presentations of any watch I've seen for this price, it's currently going for £299. So when you open it you get this very nice butler which also has a similar texture to the rest of the box which I highly appreciate as someone who works in graphics design I think it's a very nice touch and it's a high quality booklet with information about the company with pictures of the process of making it this kind of thing I always appreciate especially being into actually keeping the boxes which is something I've always done I, I very much appreciate when a company goes that extra mile in presentation another thing that I really like about this is they have this little card that tells you what number out of the 500 available is your watch and at the back it gives you information about the actual movement so you can see very easily the movement the diameter of the watch 40 mil 20 mil look width 10.5 mil thick i think every watch should come with this by default because it just saves you having to go online and search for the specifications you just have everything you need to know right there in a very nice little card so I, i'm not sure why it's probably the first time i've seen a, a watch company include something like this in their packaging because it just makes sense i mean it's just a uh, in my opinion, very intuitive. It has a Miota 8N33 movement. Once you actually get past this little presentation card, the presentation of the watch itself continues in a very, very impressive fashion. Because once you get rid of this upper layer, you have kind of like a full denim look. And it's just such a nice way to showcase this watch for the first time that you open it, you have a look at it. It also goes really well eh, with the color on this dial, which is the blue and um, kind of celeste baby blue eh, and white dial which I really like. I think it's just such a good way to present this watch. And I mean, at the end of the day, how much extra could this cost for them to produce? So that's why it kind of annoys me when I see so many companies that offer watches for this price range. Just put no thought whatsoever into the presentation. Anyways, it also they sent an extra rally strap with a caramel color, has a signed buckle, and it has the quick deployment clasp. Um, so you can get rid of it without having to use any tools. It doesn't feel exactly like the best quality leather in the world. It feels a bit rigid. However, it looks good and it, I have no complaints in that regard. Now, once we're up close with this watch, that's where it really shines because it's a gorgeous design gorgeous dial i mean if for the price and taking into account the fact that this is very much its own watch i think they've done an excellent job here you have obviously quite a bit of depth because of that center part with the celeste tone and then those um, indices our indices that kind of stick out protrude over that center disc and it reminisces of the dufa buyer that i reviewed last year that has kind of a similar design going on and then it has that tachymeter that adds also an extra layer of depth. It says designed in Britain at the bottom and then it has that seconds hand with that red arrow tip which I love. And then it has these kind of a pillar a style um, our minutes hands with loom on the last three tips for the minutes hand and on the last two for the hour hand. It has a domed sapphire crystal, however, it's very, very slightly domed only. And then also it has that little infinity sign on top of the six. So I really appreciate the fact that they've kept the dial so simple. They haven't gone overboard. They haven't put automatic. They haven't put pretty much anything that didn't have to be on the dial of the watch hasn't been incorporated, which I really really like because as you know for dress watches a less is more and that's something that they definitely understood with this watch now the quality of the sapphire crystal and the anti-reflective coating works very well as you can see on this video I was recording on the bright lights from the windows and I had no issue with glare the glare is controlled very nicely even in bright sunlight you can see you can still see the time with no problem whatsoever now you also have these very nice looking lugs these lugs are a bit reminiscent to old style british watches a bit elongated with them 
those uh, high polish finishes that the rest of the case also has um, and it's a very very nice quality a uh, high polished finish i just reviewed the edward icon v1 and i complained about the quality of the kind of pseudo mirror finish they had done however that's not the case on this one they have really done a uh, pretty close to a mirror finish on this case there's no other kind of um, brushed edges sandblasted absolutely nothing it's all high polished which obviously means it's going to be much more prone to scratches however because it is a dress watch i'm not really too concerned about that um, i maybe think the sapphire crystal could have been a bit more domed because i know that it does say on the website that it's domed that you can definitely see the the distortion at the edges i think it would have looked better with a bit more dome to it especially considering that the case does have that kind of narrow to wide effect from the bottom to the top is so i think it would have bought in a bit better now one thing that even though i understand this is supposed to be like a a speed edition like a automotive automotive inspired in certain ways a watch it, that's not really what i think until i see the crown so as you can see, this crown has kind of like a tire texture to it. It's a very, very nice looking crown, especially with that M deeply engraved. It's one of the best engravings I've seen on a crown for anywhere near this price range. It, however, it doesn't really say race inspired car watch to me when I look at a dial. So then to have that crown is a bit it's a bit of a contrast i mean maybe you do see the whole race aspect of this of automotive aspect of this watch personally i don't if you do then you won't see any kind of contrast with the crown because i don't i do see quite a bit however that's not necessarily a bad thing it's just something to keep in mind but where this watch really takes it up a notch is when you turn it around and you see that my auto movement and what i what, what a stunning movement to look at i mean keep in mind this is a very cheap movement this is nothing special in terms of the technical capacity of it but how it's been decorated is gorgeous gorgeous all with that gold tone which just contrasts so nicely with the actual dial of the watch because the dial is so subdued it's so off tone it's so simple plain in certain regards but then you turn it around they've got just this crazy exhibition display display case bag and um I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's an absolute stunner of a case bag. And it also has some information around some text, some slogans around, which I also think they've managed to incorporate very nicely. Here you can see the inside of these straps, um, decent quality straps, nothing special, but keep in mind, this is a £299 watch, which is offering already a lot of value for money in other regards. So now, anyways, to end this review, I have to say that I was quite impressed. This is the first watch that I reviewed from Marlow and it definitely makes me interested in seeing what else they have to offer because it's an excellent excellent timepiece the way that they've managed to finish it the creative choices they've taken on the dial and on the case back the whole construction quality of it the color schemes i mean everything has been done to a very very high standard especially considering the price tag on this watch so if you're into the market for a watch with this kind of looks if you're looking for a kind of a dress watch which could also be worn with no problem as a casual watch i think it even suits being a casual watch more than a dress watch especially on this chrome on this uh, strap in um, combination then definitely i can recommend the marlow coniston speed limited edition watch with no problem whatsoever also wears very nicely a very comfortable watch so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this review till the next time peace